What's the deal, you too, bitch? Your girl, Miss Honey. What's up, y'all? Um, this is a really super quick video. I'm going to do thanks to my YouTube sister, uh, Beautiful Soul Speak. She's out here on the YouTube. She's got a super great channel. Um, and if you guys don't know about her, get into her. And of course, I am fingering these beautiful, fat, juicy twists out that I just did on my hair today. And it's not quite dry. I couldn't resist undoing the twist. So tomorrow it's going to be <laughs> super huge and magnificent for my um, Walking Dead review. So I'm excited about um, doing that season finale review. Um and uh, so you guys stay tuned for that on tomorrow. I'm going to be glamorous for the season finale. Um, yeah, so Beautiful Soul, um, who is truly a beautiful soul, I'm finding out. She's just an absolute wonderful individual. Super, super sweet. Very smart. Very informative. Um, very much in touch with what's going on today. And, and um, she humbles me. Um and honors me by tagging me in a video. It's my first tag um, video that I've ever actually been tagged in. And so I'm super excited. And some of the people that she included me with um, to tag Mike B and Lady Nika are really, really big in the um, Black YouTube community. And they have really, really great established channels on YouTube. So I'm honored to be amongst the distinguished taggies k k all right you guys hopefully um this tag video will um introduce miss honey to some and reintroduce miss honey to those of you who have already been subscribed to my channel and who are already a part of my tribe so if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I promise you, you won't regret it, okay? Your girl comes through, all right? Um, and give me a thumbs up on this video, like, share this video. I would super duper appreciate it. Um, now let's move forward. So this is a positive tag video, so it's all going to be upbeat and great and gorgeous and lovely and fun. So let's get into it. What three things are you good at? Hmm. Well, I am really good at helping. I am an excellent helper. I am a wealth of information and knowledge. I don't mind sharing it. Um, you don't have to use it, but I must share. <laughs> um, and so a lot of people tell me that I'm very, very thoughtful. Um, because I just love helping and I don't um, consider it to be out of my way or too much trouble. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I've always been a very helpful individual, even as a child, and it continues on to this day. And it's one of the things that I am most proud of. Um, one of my character, most, one of the, one of my characteristics that I am most proud of. Um, let's see. The other thing that I'm good at. I am an Uber organizer, you guys, okay? So um, I also have like little idiosyncrasies, which um, you guys have to ask Nay Rob about this. <laughs> Check out Nay Rob on YouTube. She knows all about the zodiac signs. I don't, So I don't know if it's indicative of Virgos, but I am uber, uber organized, like full on. I can reorg and have your refrigerator in complete efficient working in complete efficiency in about 20 minutes like like seriously i don't care if it's your desk your trunk your refrigerator your lunch bag doesn't matter i am an organizer i am a reorger i am a repurposer and this is something that i love i absolutely love it i adore it i eat sleep breathe it i do it without even thinking about it I have to apologize for it all the time. I am an orga organizer, okay? Um, the other thing that I am super, super proud of outside of being a master Christmas tree decorator, okay? 
master Christmas tree decorator. All right. I gets down in the middle of that thing and decorate it from the inside out. Magnificence. I have the one of the greatest palettes <laughs> in DeKalb County, Georgia. <laughs> I can't say the world, but I have a really, really crazy palette. Like I think it's because I'm a foodie. And I've traveled so many different places and eaten so many different cultures of food that I tend to be able to absolutely break down every component or most of the components of a dish, um, wine, fruit drink, doesn't matter. Give me a combination of things to taste, some flavor profiles, and your girl can pretty much break it all the way down. Like my palate is bananas. Um, my friend and I went to the vape vape shop. This is really funny. And whenever we get together, we uh, we always go to the vape vape shop. I don't know why I want to say vape shop. I guess because I'm country and my dad's a fisherman. But yeah. Um, so we always get together and we always go to the vape shop. He has a ton of um, vape machines. I don't know, they call it units or whatever, but I call it vape machine, whatever. And, um, you know, I have a pretty, I have a certain aesthetic. Like, I don't want blueberry. I don't want, like, sex on the beach. I don't want that in my vape machine. What I want in my vape machine is a hug. I want something that tastes like a good cup of coffee. Um, I want a sandalwood candle taste. I want... Something very organic and natural. And so we go in there and the guy who actually owns the vape shop and is like a vape guru, he has all types of oils and um, we just had so much fun. He was like, your palate is crazy. Like I can just break it down. I can tell you what I don't, what components I don't, don't appeal to me and what components I like. Like you're almost there. And we worked at that thing and worked at that thing until I got the flavor that I have now, which is a custom flavor from his. So he was super, super proud that he could sell me that flavor because he knows I'm a particular type of individual. Like my taste buds are crazy, you guys. So I'm super proud of that as if you can't <laughs> tell. Yeah, so I have crazy, crazy taste buds, you guys. And I'm proud of that. Mm-mm. Okay, so which YouTubers inspire you the most? Okay, so automatically off the rip, hands down, I'm going to say Beautiful Soul. I really, really, when I discovered Beautiful Soul, I had 12 subscribers. And Nay Rob is actually the person that turned me on to Beautiful Soul. Okay, so I think it was Nay Rob. It might have been Lady Nika. But I think it was Nay Rob. Anyway, when I discovered her, I had 12 subscribers. And just, she's in my demographic, if you guys know what that means. And, um, you know, she just did everything really, really well, really, really beautifully. And she had a beautiful channel. It was obvious she had put quite a bit of work into it. At this time, I didn't know she had had a previous channel. Um... So, you know, to see this uh, new channel here, it seemed like she was just starting out, you know, but she's actually a seasoned YouTuber. Um, she's been doing it for a few years now, and um, it just comes across in her work. What I love the most about Beautiful Soul is that Beautiful Soul does her research. Like, if she, if she said it, she's done her research on it. If she's mistaken, if she had a misstep, she comes back, she says it. Um, she brings in the correct information or she adds an addendum. She does an update. I love that about her. It just makes me feel like if I tell someone something that I have heard from her channel, I know that it's authentic. If I see that she's got a new video out there, either on Twitter or or on YouTube notifications, I know it's going to be quality workmanship. It's like, like, I can rely on her. She does a lot of political things. And so with that, 
in that type of arena, you need people that are well-read, well-informed, that aren't just ranting, but they have done the work. Okay? I love her for that. And she's a beautiful spirit. She's pretty transparent. She's very open. And um, it, she's a YouTuber that you can connect with and rock with for 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 a lifetime that's what i love about beautiful soul and it just encouraged me to be um that much more diligent in my um videos my editing my commentary my links um you know my intros my outros all of that um i um, beautiful souls had a huge influence on me with that so yeah forest rocks i love forest rocks forest rocks is funny she's probably got some of the most notable sayings out there on black youtube um mona bitch <laughs> full of fucking nicotry <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, Roxanne go hoard. She go hoard. <laughs> Let's get this wet. Let's get this wet. And she's known for her impressions. She does a wonderful Jocelyn Hernandez. If you guys do not know about Forbes Rock, go back and watch them old love and hip hop. She does a rap by Jocelyn Hernandez, all in this Spanish dialect that is hilarious um what i love about forest rocks and how she inspired me was forest rocks is always really really pulled together and she's very trendy um and stylish and and i sort of got from her this um inspiration to be beautiful to be aesthetic to be um pulled together you know again she's in my demographic so, um, when I saw her, I thought she was beautiful. I thought she was very polished and she had a consistency to her that I really enjoyed and in turn tried to mimic, you know. Um, I love Ashley Miller. Ashley Miller is the very first YouTuber I ever watched that did show reviews. I actually started watching Ashley Miller first and then Justin J1232, who's a really great YouTuber too, um, but Ashley Miller was the first, and I discovered Justin J and Forrest Rocks and Bondi Blue and all of these people um, that I watch through um, Ashley Miller. What I love the most about Ashley Miller is that Ashley Miller is so well-rounded. Like, she's in touch. She is in touch with what's going on domestically and uh, internationally. She's in touch with a lot of social things that are going on, as well as political, as well as celebrity. Um, she is a tough cookie, but she's fair. And um, she she's she's as authentic as they come. This is who she is. This is what she does. This is her opinions. You don't like it, so the F what? But at the same time, she's a very tender-hearted person. And I think people just love her and relate to her um, for that reason. And um, just like Rox and uh, Beautiful Soul, she is immensely consistent with her content and providing her content, you know, and um, it's one of the things I I admire the most about Ashley Miller. Okay, so those are the three YouTubers if I didn't go on too much. Hmm. Oh, nose not brown, nose still golden. <laughs> okay, so what do you do to relax? I love Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Amazon, and Xfinity. I am an avid um, binge watcher. I watch a bevy of things. I am an information sponge. I love to gather in uh, information and watch a lot of content. And, and that's what I do. I watch a lot of YouTube and it relaxes me. 
Netflix, it relaxes me. It's an escape, you know, and we have so much crap on the TV and on the internet uh, with regards to what's going on in our country politically and economically. You need every little bit of distraction that you can muster up and, um, that's what I do. I go deep, deep, deep into um, Grace and Frankie on Netflix. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to do a video about all the stuff that I've watched that I have just adored. Oh my gosh. If you guys have not seen Hap and Leonard on YouTube, you are missing out. I promise you it is a good, good show. Okay, do not sleep on it. If you straight, if you gay, it don't matter. Do not, black, white, don't matter. Country, city, don't matter. Do not sleep on Happy Leonard on Netflix. Season one's out there now. Check it out. Okay, let's see. What else? I'm a huge foodie, so I love to go to different restaurants. I usually try to do that on Sundays with family and friends. We'll go out to the market and get some tasty things from the market and then we'll go and have brunch or go and have mimosas somewhere um, i love my city i love atlanta and it's a great place if you're a foodie great places to eat and meet people and so that's something that i do on sundays especially i mean on to relax especially in the summertime i put a maxi dress on y'all no bra some flip-flops bitch oh and be feeling gooder than a mug, baby. Gooder than a mug. Um, the other thing that I do to relax is I love, love, love word games, you guys. I'm Pentecostal. I was Pentecostal raised. You know, I'm a pew baby. So I love word games, you guys. I promise you, I will play Scrabble with you like the people play spades. We were not allowed to play um, playing cards in our house. Okay, that was against the holiness. And so we could play word games. We could play Scrabble. And I don't care what it was. Word, search, word, find. But Scrabble, baby. I would throw them them, them tiles down on that board like, boom, triple word score. What you going to do? What you going to do in your face, sucker? <laughs> oh, boy. I love word games. I play word with friends. I play boggle with friends i play um word ball word whiz i mean you name it you name it um yeah i love my family all get together we play scrabble i know it seems boring i know it seems nerdy but yeah the more you know <laughs> okay who are you tagging okay so um, Beautiful Soul paid it forward by tagging me, a little old bitty YouTuber with less than 600 subscribers. And so I want to tag some people that I've been watching that are new to YouTube that I think are some people to watch in the YouTube game. Um, I'm going to tag Joy Has Questions. Um, I discovered Joy Has Questions from um, The Juice. And the juice, she and the juice did a collaboration. You guys know who the juice is. Now y'all know I minds my business, but uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> That's the juice, right? And um, I want to also tag my twisted life um, with poetry. She is an underground reviewer. I enjoy her underground reviews, um, and um, yeah. So, I'd love to tag her and, and learn a little bit more about her. Um, Joy has questions. She lives in Chicago, and she is a really bright, smart, funny, um, intelligent young lady, and she's definitely a YouTuber to watch. And lastly, I want to tag the great Nay Rob. Um, Nay Rob, I discovered Nay Rob, and uh, she just, we... It, we just instantly sort of clicked for me in my mind, in my head. <laughs> anyway, she's had a crazy hectic schedule in life or whatever, and she doesn't really come on camera as much as she used to. And we miss you, Nay Rob. We want you to see you more on camera. I know you got some things coming up, but I'm tagging you in this video because I want to see 
you um, on camera this weekend, okay, if possible. Um, okay, so you guys, um, check out Beautiful Soul. Check out Mike B. Check out Lady Nika. Check out Narob. Joy Has Questions. My Twisted Life with Poetry. Um, Forrest Rocks, Ashley Miller, get into this YouTube thing. You guys, it is everything. Like, full on, you get to really, really experience what's going out on out there in this crazy, crazy world with um, people who are invested and committed and consistently bringing you really, really great content. So get into some of these people. And if you have a YouTube channel and you want to participate in this tag video, please do so. I would love, love, love to know a little bit more about you guys. Um, for my honeybees, you guys can answer all of these questions down below in the comments. Um, Duran, Bazu, okay, NYC Chocolate, all of y'all, go ahead and let me know. If you don't answer all the questions, just let me know. What are three things that you do to relax? And what are three things that you are good at? I would love to know. Okay, you guys, until next time. Thanks for watching.